Hi, welcome. In today's tutorial, we are going to take some CSM questions and see how to answer them together. So without wasting much time, let's start. The first question says, what is the internet often referred to as? Now listen, in order to describe the internet as a means of accessing and sharing vast amounts of information quickly and easily, it was referred to as information super highway. Okay, information super highway. So that is the correct answer to this. So let's proceed to the next question. This question says, which protocol is used to access the internet? The protocol that is used in accessing the internet is the transmission control protocol or internet protocol, which is option B. Okay, TTP or IP. So let's proceed to the next question. This question states, what does WWW stands for? So WWW stands for World Wide Web. Be very careful. It is World Wide Web. Okay, that's the correct answer to this. So let's proceed to the next question. This question says, which of the following? It's not a social networking style. Look at the word social networking. Social networking. So when you look at Facebook, Facebook is a social networking site. That's why you make friends, you interact with them, you send them a message, they reply. And then Twitter too. And then LinkedIn. So the odd one among them is the option B, Google. Okay. So let's proceed to the next question. This question says, what is the function of the web browser? It is true that the web browser connects to the internet. It is also true that the web browser opens and transfers files. And it is also true that it displays text and images. So since A, B, and C are correct, then the correct answer to this question is option D, or the above. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question. This question says, what does HTML stand for? So HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. That's option A. Okay. Hypertext Markup Language. Okay. So let's proceed to the next question. Question 7. Which of the following is an example of an intelligent personal assistant? So the correct answer to this is Siri. It helps you to interact with various apps using voice command. Okay. So let's proceed to the next one. Which is a disadvantage of VOIP. Now, VOIP stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. Okay. So which of these is a disadvantage of it? The correct answer to this is option C, latency. The higher the latency, the more delay in communication. Okay. And it relies on internet connectivity. Okay. So let's proceed to the next question. This question says, what is an IP address used for? An IP address is used to identify a unique computer on the internet. Okay. It's in numerical form. So it is used to identify a unique computer on the internet. So every computer has its IP address. Okay. So let's proceed to the next question. Question 10. What does URL stand for? Now, URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. Please be very careful. Not Uniform Resource Link. Rather, Uniform Resource Locator. And also not Universal. Uniform. Okay. Uniform Resource Locator. So let's proceed to the next question. Question 11. Which organization originally developed the internet? It is the Department of Defense, okay, known as Advanced Research Project Agency, ARPA. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question. Question 12. Which version of internet protocol is the newest? The newest version is internet protocol version 6. Okay, it was actually designed to address the limitation of the IPv4. Okay, so let's proceed to the next question. 
Question 13. What does HTTPS stand for? HTTPS stand for Hypertext Transfer Protocol Secure. Okay. The HT is Hypertext. And then this T is transfer. P is protocol and then the S is secure. Okay, so be very careful with this. So the correct answer is option A. Hypertext transfer protocol secure. So let's proceed to the next question. Four ten. What does the padlock symbol in a web browser indicate? When you go to some websites, beside the logo, you see some padlock symbol over there. So, what does it indicate? That's what this question is asking. So, the correct answer to this is option B. A secured connection over HTTPS. Okay. So, let's proceed to the next question. This question says, which of the following is an example of a domain name? The correct answer to this is knst.ab.gh. This is an example of a domain name, okay, like Belarusians.com. Let's take some few minutes break. The link to the next session is in the description area and the comment section below. Thank you.